sushi. It's wonderful. Wonderful. What is this one, Andrea? It's a jumbo pink banana. Mm. Look Yum. how big the leaves are. This what is do you like got back here? That is huge, those leaves. What do you got here? Another one? These, right. look right over here. These beauties are buttercups. But you're supposed to wait till the rind gets hard. And you can see I poked it. It wasn't hard. <laughs> it wasn't hard. You feel it's right. Nope. Still soft. Still soft. Alright, our watermelons are still growing. I got one right here. We're gonna pick it, or actually, got one right here we've picked. Got a few more down here. And then we got some moon and stars. Well, these are the moon and stars Emily planted. From Little Creek Homestead. Oh, those are so cool looking. Not only do they got spots, even the leaves have spots all on them. And you've got, you've got a couple of them down through there. Yeah. Got one there. This is going to be last minute, but don't y'all forget, October 15th is the deadline for your watermelon contest. We've only got a handful of people entered. Green spaghetti squash. I think they're called Ren Renoa or something. See, there's a bunch in here. These well, are all Baker plant. Creek seeds. They're all from Baker Creek. They're a bush type spaghetti squash. It's slippery. Snap it. The cucumbers are doing pretty good. We're having better luck out of these cucumbers than we did during the middle of the summer. So we're gonna go pick some okra, but the real point of this video is we're heading out front to look under that um, floating row cover and clean up out there. It needs a little attention, so let's go. I don't know that I should be trusted with a knife. You all right? <laughs> some of these have gotten a little on the large side. Boring. <laughs> Man, I missed it. What'd you do? Make yourself cry? I just was pulling really hard on an okra and I just punched myself in the face, in the <laughs> nose. It hurts. Quit laughing. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're not either. I feel so sorry for you. Yeah, you do. Emily, were you laughing? <laughs> yes, yeah, still laughing. My hand hurts. <laughs> How's your hand hurt? Because I hit my nose that hard. Look how big those are. There's some... They're long, but they're not very fat. Little birdhouse forks. I think I can get through here. I think so. I don't know. Don't tear your pants. Are you recording? I you did made it. it! All right, out here is just some gourds that we throwed out and got run over and bush hog and. We actually ran over one here a couple weeks ago. I wanted to come out here and see what they were. Oh, look at there. That's a birdhouse. That's oh my crazy. goodness. You're supposed to leave gourds and I think that's like a cross between a zuka gourd and a birdhouse yeah. gourd. Look behind your foot. Behind my foot? Yeah. Another monster. Oh! Crazy. Okay, so those were actually birdhouse gourds. They may have gotten crossed with a zuka, which is a Baker Creek seed that's a really large gourd. Um, what in tarnations are we going to do with these things? Well, Aren't you're you actually... Oh, I can't even pick it up. Don't break it, though. I'm not... Look at that monster. So you're actually supposed to leave gourds until after the first frost and then take them in to dry and they'll like hollow out and dry and you can you can get the seeds out or whatever. Um, and then that's when you make them into like birdhouses or whatever. Um, I actually had a cousin that got some of these big zookas from us and dried them and painted them to look like snowmen because that's kind of what they look like when they're standing up. I thought that was a cute idea. But these zookas you actually can eat. Uh, we've been reading up on them 
it says if you pick them pretty young, which I don't know what that exactly means because these are huge. They're massive. But you can eat them like zucchini. You can kind of peel them and de-seed them and they have like a mild flavor. Um, so they're not gonna overpower any dish you, you put them in. They're very keto friendly. You can make them into zucchini noodles, um, which if you've ever done that, you know it takes a ton of zucchini to get a big pile of noodles and then they cook down. So I thought that was a pretty cool idea. It wouldn't take um, very many of these to make a pile. So I thought we might give that a try, uh, but we gotta figure out what is picking them young because all of these are huge. Okay, so we found a small one. We're gonna pick it and we're gonna give it a try and we'll let you know how this goes. If anybody out there knows of anything else that I could do with these, there's, there's four right there. I see some more up in there. I mean, other than little crafty projects or- Much bigger, you'd have a canoe. <laughs> yeah. I was also reading that people used to use them as a filler for like jams and jellies because they don't have a lot of flavor. Um, I take that back, it wasn't jellies, it was jams. Because they'll extend stuff because they don't have tons of flavor, they're not gonna overpower the recipe. There's only like one pack of all the babies. Them. Yeah, mama spread a bunch more carrots out. There's a chicken that likes to hang out in here too. Yeah, I've seen where it's scratched here and here. So there's some carrots coming up. Yeah. Look, there's an onion, and there's another onion. And you know what? What? I got a bunch of carrots sprouted in the greenhouse in that uh, perlite. Cool. And it needs to be thinned out very badly. I wonder if you could transplant them. All right, we're heading out to the front garden, and we're going to roll up a fence that we actually had beans growing up. It's been laid out, the vine's dying off of it, and we're going to clean up a little bit out here. So let's go. Roll that up. Did you roll up the fence? Maybe. When? About five minutes ago. Awesome, Lane. Good job. Thanks. Well, apparently Lane's already rolled the fence up, so I love it when I figure out they've done work that I don't have to do. How's that working? <laughs> Plowing through them really easy. Can we take a turn? I'm enjoying myself right now. <laughs> kind of getting out of breath, though. All right, so we made a family plan. Ben's back here hoeing with the, uh, or tilling, I guess you'd say. What do you call that? No, it's a, it's an oscill oscillating hoe for the, the wheel plow. We'll lift it up. That little thing down there on the bottom just like slices under the dirt. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's sharp. Is it, it slices without much effort Maybe at all. Maybe I don't need to use it. <laughs> So Ben's using that. That's one of our things from Haas Tools. It's pretty awesome. We're still figuring out all the different ways to use it. Um, but Ben and Lane are fixing to head back and hook up the tiller that goes on the back of our tractor and get some of our front garden plowed up because weeds are starting to take over. Emily and I are going to keep cleaning up. We're going to take this white back and uh, hoe underneath it because we got a good rain last night, so that should be fairly easy. We're going to make short work of cleaning this garden up. And then before we leave y'all, I want to show you the tomatoes. Um, they have went crazy again. So I want to show you those and the peppers before we sign off. So we're going to put y'all aside, let you watch what we're doing, and we're going to get busy. How's it going, ma'am? Good. How you doing? Doing good. How about you? You want me to take a turn? Nope. Emily. Yes. See all that down there that needs to be tilled? Mm -hmm. On this side of the tomatoes? You gonna do that with that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Tired? Nope. Don't lie, girl. I'm not. Pig's eating my watermelon I threw in there. Tastes good, girl?
right, I got the row of early stuff hoed and cleaned up. Ben and Emily are down there hoeing around the sugar snaps and the snake beans. Lane is using the oscillating hoe. Uh, I'm going to take you and show you the tomato plants. I still got to cover this row of early stuff up and I'm going to show you a few of the things that's in it. But I want to show you my tomatoes before it gets completely dark. All right, so the cabbages are looking good. There's lots of lettuces. Um, I'll take you down here and show you there's some Chinese cabbage and some beautiful Swiss chard. Look at those beautiful Chinese cabbages. Y'all got that looking mighty fine. A few sugar snaps. Look at all snakes. those, Emily. Look at this Swiss chard. It's rainbow chard, actually. It's really beautiful. Peppers are still rocking. All right, so remember when I told you don't rip out your tomatoes? Let's go check them out. Look at all that beautiful new growth. And look up in here. Look at all those beautiful green ones. And as you can see, a lot of the plant looks dead. But then up at the top and out to the sides, it'll start putting off all this new growth. Just all up and down the row. It's crazy. Look at these beauties. These are actually some of the best looking ones of the season. So I hope you didn't rip your tomatoes out because you may be about to get a second crop. If you did, just next year, leave them. Um, especially if they're in the ground, just keep letting them get watered from the ground. If they're in pots, you'll have to continue to water them to get them to put on the new growth. But um, it's just something we learned a while back from an old gardener and we've done it ever since. And it, you may be thinking you're sick of tomatoes at the end of the season, but I promise you, you go a couple months without tomatoes, you're ready for some more. Look at the size of that monster. Alright, sun's going down here. I'm going to try to get Andrea to put the hoe down and let's go inside <laughs> and have a cup of coffee and relax. Yeah. I think we have accomplished quite a bit this evening. I think today is done. It's time to quit. Yep. Got to know when to stop and when to relax. The fall garden looks better. I think we're good to go for a while. Grass yeah. didn't grow near as fast this time of year. That's the good thing. You don't have to do this all the time. Yep. And it's, it was a little easier to pull out of the ground today. We had a nice rain yesterday. So most cool of it here. picked up. Still want to get over and clean the old tomato row up. There is still some over there growing. So I'm kind of a little leery about getting in there. I was going to get in there with a weed eater, but. I'm thinking we might just clean it up when it's done. When it's done for the year. When they quit. When we frost. All, all right. right. You want to finish it? You want to? You go ahead. <laughs> we'll see y'all later. We really do appreciate y'all hanging out with us and spending time in the garden. And we'll see you tomorrow. God see bless. You.